watching Global Daily Mirror News Alerts. The Commission on Elections for now will not be removing illegally posted campaign materials from the private properties but will just be noting their existence. Comelec spokesperson James Jimenez also said that the Comelec will still be removing illegal campaign materials posted on light posts, waiting sheds, and walls of parks and other areas not identified as common poster areas, saying that the Paul body still has the authority to remove illegal campaign materials posted in public places. The Supreme Court earlier issued a temporary restraining order directing the Paul body to suspend its Oplan Baklas or the removal of illegal campaign materials. <laughs> Senator Bongo pushed for an additional budget to aid public utility vehicles or PUV drivers. And the senator said that while prices of oil products remain unstable, the excise tax imposed on them can be suspended. He also said that he would support a special session in Congress to tackle legislation such as suspension of excise taxes amid rising oil prices. The Department of Budget and Management recently released a total of 2.5 billion pesos to the Department of Transportation as a fuel subsidy for around 377,000 qualified PUV drivers. <laughs> As for update on the weather, according to Pagasa, the shear line is prevailing over the eastern sections of southern Luzon and Visayas. Today, the northeast monsoon is affecting northern and central Luzon, while the easterlies is affecting the rest of the country. Aurora, Quezon, Biko region, eastern Visayas, and Kalayaan Islands will experience cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms due to the shear line. Cagayan Valley will have cloudy skies with light rains, while partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers is expected over Ilocos region, Cordillera region, and the rest of central Luzon. The northeast monsoon, meanwhile, is expected to weaken by tomorrow. As for Metro Manila and the rest of the country, the easterlies is the dominant weather system. This will claim humid weather and possible localized thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. Teen actress Jillian Ward flexes her newly purchased Porsche. The 17-year-old took to Instagram to flaunt her new sports car, sharing a photo of herself beside her new all-black ride. In the caption, she said, My first sports car. Just three months ago, Jillian posted her new car and said that she's a proud BMW owner. Meanwhile, Grimes says she and Elon Musk break up again. Just after news that the two welcomed their second child, daughter Y, in December, during her interview with Vanity Fair, which was released on Thursday, Grimes announced that the child arrived via surrogate in December last year. She then took to Twitter to announce that she and Tesla CEO Elon Musk have broken up. However, according to her, they remain best friends and still love each other. That's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good afternoon. <laughs>